and I figured I would show you guys how to fix these cracks. Um, I'm going to do these a little bit different than I've done others that you've seen. Typically I'll make a piece and bend it both directions and put it in the corner and weld it in. Um, but on the deck lid, since it's when you have the deck lid open, this is a very focal area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little strip and I'm going to put it up behind here and then just weld it in and I'll spot it here and here. Strengthens it up a little bit, um, but gets, makes it cosmetically look pretty original. So let me show you how that works. So I eyeball these two pieces out, cut them. Then what I'll do is I'll bend this straight. I'm just going to probably just use some needle nose. See how this works. Might have to do a little bit of hammering. Clamp this guy up underneath the crack like that. Then I'll hold that with some needle nose or with the probably just with the needle nose. Weld it in place. Uh, I might use my pliers. Let me see. I got that. Hang on a second. I'll show you. All right. So this is what I was going to use here. It's come out a little bit nicer. The way I can wrap around. I'll get a, hold that in place for me really nice. Give a little weld. Put a couple spots here and there. Then we're looking good. Get this one here straightened out. Sometimes you can use the interlow, sometimes you got to use a hammer. You just have to look at each thing, figure out what's going to work. So then that's straight. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll just put that in place, the piece of metal placed behind. Let's give it a little weld and see how it looks. All right, so here's what I ended up with. I tried to make sure I burnt through the first layer. That comes out. I hope you guys can see that okay. This thing tends to get out of focus sometimes. There it goes. Um, tried to burn through here uh, enough to where it got the metal. Then I welded here and there. Now when I grind this down, you really won't see anything. Signs of repair or anything like that. This is kind of a hidden repair. Um, since it didn't really crack all the way into the surface over here much, I'm looking at it now. Might hit it a little bit more on this one. Got just a little bit further than what I welded. So, of course, I used the burn through method. You know, um, those guys are new subscribers. Um, what you do with this is to get to go on this unclean metal. What you do is you have to hit it with your arc, your uh, with your MIG welder once, burn and then it burns the paint off. Just kind of hit it a little bit and then let that burn for a second and then wait about two seconds and then go ahead and weld. And what that does is that keeps the, the paint from uh, getting into your puddle. So it, it it does work okay. It's not the best way to weld, but you know I don't really want to make all that noise right now, so it doesn't need. Oh, got one more over here. So always cracks on these old deck lids, especially the ones that don't have the support here. There's always cracks, so look them over really good. Better get that one fixed too. All right, so this is what I end up with here. And I got this one fixed. I didn't try to get this little shape here. Um, it's real common for them to break in these places. Usually going to be two or three cracks around the back. So you know, I got this one here, got that bump welded up, and I'll just grind these down flat and make that all look real nice. And then I'll go ahead and finish up the bodywork on this thing. And uh, I'll get it prime. I guess I'll use, uh, eh, might not use uh, epoxy primer on this one. I might just go ahead and prime it. And then uh, finish it up, paint it, just put it back on the car. That way it's got some protection. And then uh, take a look at that color and see if I like it, make sure it looks right. 
it's got to it's got to look like original or you know I my colors all look real original I like everything to look like it was like originally because uh, this is a pretty rare color this uh, Fontana gray didn't make that many in US I heard they were mostly German so we'll see how it looks when it's done and I'll show you that a little bit later not today probably but uh, I'll have it done in the next couple days and let you guys take a look at it along with some of the SO23 stuff.